Good. Kita dia lupat. And this is gonna be more like a fresh food. No too much cumin, dried herbs, more fresh green herbs. Herbs that could literally just you know put a mellow a mellow right in your mouth. Right here. Take the remnants of this here. We have our chives. We have some thyme also that we're gonna use. I'm gonna use the soft, stocky part of the thyme. Normally we take off the small leaves from the thyme, but I'm gonna use the soft, stocky parts of the thyme. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use a piece of this here. All right, and I'm just gonna wrap it up into this, just to allow the full flavor of our thyme to, to you know, to take its time and get into our food. Now why I would tie it so at, at least the flavor would get in but you would not chew up the sticks while you are actually eating. So we put this in. Now we have our sweet peppers. Everything that we are using here is what we get straight from our local markets. It's nothing that we had to, to fly overseas for. Everything here is locally made, locally produced. Growing right here in St. Lucia. So even the seeds here some people do not like using the seeds of the seasoning pepper, but I like using the seeds because the seeds contain the most, most of the flavor. Right? I'm going to use the green part. So we know that all these herbs there are what you're going to be tasting when you are literally consuming that food that you are consuming there. And remember, no matter what type of food that you have, as I always tell people, if you cook a piece of chicken in just hot water and you eat the chicken, how would the chicken taste? Oh, gasa mwe, gasa mwe, baka yema yesa koha. You would never eat the chicken if you cook the chicken just in hot water and just eat the chicken without any seasoning. Just to eat the chicken, you have to make it soak into some salt and some lime, or you know, put in all your seasoning inside of it, and then leave it there for a little time, and then you're gonna eat the chicken. You're gonna say, oh boy, it's a bangu. Why? Do you like the chicken, or do you like the flavor in the chicken, which is the herbs? I think you like the herbs, not the chicken. So if you use the same herbs to season your food that you do at your home, these same herbs now could give your food a different level of taste. So we're gonna put in some dill again into our soup. It's a green soup. So you're gonna just use that amount of dill here. Remember, people believe that it will take a long time to cook good food, you know. But we shouldn't take no whole heap of time. It's gonna stir it up. You see, it just looks pure green, full of chlorophyll. And what we have, you could still see that our thyme is still tied up together, taking its time to get all the flavors out. And we're not gonna put no, no powder, turmeric, or anything. Just this specific seasoning here. And what I'm gonna use here, I'm just gonna use a bit of sea salt to literally put in our salt flavor. Some sea salt, just for taste. Not too much of sea salt, just for taste. Some sea salt, that's all that I'm gonna put into it. As dried herbs. So this here, if I just taste it, tastes brilliant. This here tastes like medicine. So if it is that you are coming down with the cold, or you're coming down with the flu, or you're coming down with something, what you need to do, you need to use a food like this, hot and nice. You see, if I, if I feel like something is in the air and I'm coming home, I say, I'll, I'll call my wife and say, Empress, everything blessed, give thanks for life, the life giver and the keeper of life. Prepare me some, you know, some therapeutic soup. And that's exactly what she's gonna do. That's a therapeutic soup, something I could just drink just like this. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put in some. It's not going to be a surprise because uh, you know what I'm putting in. I'm going to put some okra. So these okras here, I'm just going to drop it just as it is inside of the soup. What it's going to do, because it's a bit okra, it's a bit slimy, it's going to give the soup a bit of what? Thickness. And this here adds a bit of green 
you know, sliminess. So this you could take it like, you know, so when I'm here, let's go show by the log log point teacher or crew. I can say show let's go show. You go on, say Vienna. Hello, what's up, Vienna? Vienna, guys. No, that's your Vienna right there, Vienna. Genesis chapter one, verse twenty-nine. Well, your food is your medicine. So this here is ready. And what we're gonna do right now? I'm gonna get ready to actually garnish this, put this up on my plate, so you could see exactly how our simple but therapeutic food is gonna taste today. So even our therapeutic soup with our zippy now is ready. I'm just gonna stir it up a bit more, so you get a bit more thickness, and just turn off the heat right here. And I'm just gonna scoop it up and put it right in this bowl here. One. You say when it's nice, you do it twice. Two. If it's very nice, you do it thrice or three times. <laughs> so, back punch of yan. Oh, the, you know, remember the yan is our, our okra. So, this here is. Oh, Rasta di bam, eh, yan left in Rasta, got this plant yan. The yan is the okra, man. Take, take it easy. So, we have this green giant here, our therapeutic soup. This here, you could also drink it from a cup. And just drink it down, or you could use a spoon and you could drink it. People say, well, if you want fast food, you have to go to a fast food joint. Um, sometimes you go to a fast food joint and then you spend around 20 minutes in the line because everybody's trying to get some fast food. And it might take you even an hour sometimes to get a fast food, you know. So if in that hour that you take going to the fast food, I mean, if, you, if you're working in town and, and you want to go, let's say, and you're living in a CDC building, you could have gone home, do a therapeutic soup, do a caramelized plantain and, and celery with a little bit of radish. And if in that hour, you could have prepared and consume that fish, you know, and the other thing is it's wholesome, nutritional, no synthetic, no, you know, everything is just perfect. So fundamentally, fast food concept is not really what you see when you look at kill fast chicken and all them type of places you go and you get your junk foods and so fast foods is going to a tree and picking an orange, picking up a, a banana, you know, be an environmentalist as a brother was telling me, and preserve the life of the animals and the birds and the, and the fish. You know, and people just say, boy, oh, um, birds are going extinct and trees are going extinct, but mankind is going extinct, even in St. Lucia, I mean. You have two amputations every day. So fundamentally, even right here with us, we have a, a visitor to our, to our establishment, the School of Seven Vegan Restaurant, and I'll allow him to introduce himself and tell us exactly where, where he's from. Yes, greetings. My name is Most High. My name is Iwil. I'm from Barbados. Right here to visit your beautiful island, St. Lucia. Yeah. Well, as, as you said, his name is Iwil. He's coming in from Barbados. I mean, last, last program at a Barbadian also. So we see, even for the wellness fair, we'll be having people coming in. And even at our establishment, our restaurant in Rodney Bay, you have lots of visitors from overseas coming and say, well, we never knew this was here, and, you know? Yes. So now it's here. Yeah. Well, we're going we're gonna to allow our brother Iwil to sample the therapeutic soup. Mm -hmm. And then he's going to just, he's going to consume, you know, this aspect of the fish is just like you eat the soup and you want something to munch on, something sweet, sweet. without salt or anything, just yeah. a natural flavors if our herbs and so. So, okay. beloved, but you could sample uh, yes. the therapeutic soup and tell us exactly how it is for you. Yeah, many blessings, yeah? Bless, yes. Yeah. It's very nice. You know what's in it? I mean, he was 